Hey yo together and very welcome back to the StarCraft 2 Unranked! I'm still not feeling ready for ranked. Uh, yeah. It's rainy. It's dark. A good weather to play some games. Uh, last game was really interesting. I watched uh, a little bit of two replays from me. As well as Hearth vs. Jan on YouTube. Just to know what's going on roughly because I'm playing hard TVC style which he played like a year ago or half a year it's still viable I know that and yeah he also wasn't really able to pressure the Zerg enough to deny creep but what you can do is trade Zerglings be a bit aggressive push creep a little bit down because it's difficult for Queens and Roaches yeah, okay, for Queens it's not difficult to compete with the Banshee, but being out of on, on the map and put some pressure on your opponent means that he can't that he can just creep spread slower. Uh, there would be another possibility, like Pult is playing. Um, I I've seen a lot of Pult's replays lately. I downloaded GSL and WCS and Star League replays there was a whole bunch of season two and what they were doing most of the times were just go for one reaper straight into reactor which means you get the hellions earlier and what Paul was doing was um oh i'm playing Triff again nice um what i was what what they were doing was be super super aggressive like uh getting a medivac dropping and yeah with the Hellions and the Marines and sometimes even go for a Hellbat, so Armory and then Hellbat which is putting so much pressure on your opponent and it means that there is the possibility with that um, I shouldn't chat and talk and play no, what he was doing, he was putting so much pressure on, your, on his opponent that this guy just couldn't, he couldn't creep spread because he was forced to look everywhere else on the map. And behind that... Okay, um, yeah, he was putting so much pressure on his opponent that this guy simply couldn't creep spread. Uh, which, and behind that Pult was just going to uh, screw that uh, yeah build up his base go for the normal macro style stuff and then straight up out macro his opponent I saw him versus TLO and he crushed TLO like 4 to nee, nee, 3 to 0 something like that really really good to role play for Pult there and I could try this as well. Problem is, as you saw, as you saw la last game. Ah, um, oh, dang it! I forgot the scout. Oh, okay, that's, that's not good. It's not super, woo, but it's not good. If he goes for a seven roach push now, I could be straight off that. Dead, but we will see. Yeah, also the reaper is a bit late. Everything is a bit late here, but ah, okay. Screw that! Yeah, what was I about to say? Pult crush? I don't remember. It's nah. Let's focus on the game now. Try that instead. So let's see. Let's see if I can manage to win another game against a Zerg opponent. Would be nice. Probably not. But we eh. look and see. Look and see. That we need. That we need. Okay. He seems not to be right there. Okay. So.
Uh, I could use this Reaper as well to scout. It's a bit risky because it, I need really good multitasking to do that, to make this work, having two Reaper. But there he is, I just wanna scout what's going on. I see no gas again. So slip through them. Ah! Okay. I don't saw any gas again. This thing is ready. No gas. Oh, he got gas. So I need to go back. Because there will be speed ready. Soon. Okay. And I also need that. I will need that. I will need that. Okay, go back just to be safe. This time he's playing with gas and I like that way more than what he played last game. Because it means you're just a bit safer and you can put pressure on your opponent as well. Just good to have this stuff. Okay. So there will be another mule ready in just a second. So let's go there, do the little switcheroony and then produce more stuff, get the... Uh, wait, whoa, 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 that's... No, 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 Okay. Okay, I can. I can chase them down like that. Problem is I'm not out of the map currently, which is really not good. But I killed them, perfect. And, okay. What do I need now? I could go for some marines, but I'm not doing that. You're going there, you're going there, stuff, da da bam. Okay. He just raids to pounds. So the bench is out. Uh, this is good. I will need some of those. Need to have a close eye on the creep spread that this isn't going full out of control. And there we go. Uh, I guess the micro so far is okay. Oh wait, that wasn't too good. Look at that! How can this even happen? Okay, roaches. Let's not loot, lose everything. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. So the upgrades. Not the best ones here, currently, as you can see, I also forgot to put and to produce. Luckily I have this little move here, let's try to take, okay, uh, upgrades, very important. I want to repair my stuff, go in there, have that, Viking ready. Very important. Thingies are going on like everywhere in the world. Um, I could go for Marauder as well. Good stuff. Armory, why not? Because I got so much money, uh, I can also get some turrets up. There's a Nidus in my main, so that's definitely gonna hurt me uh, like crazy. I need to make sure that the Banshee survives here, this battle. This is so important. Because that's my only anti-roach thing I have. And yeah, with that he will just straight up kill me, I guess. As there's no way to me for me to win this.
I mean, I got the bench. I will be able to kill the Nidus eventually. If I'm lucky. Uh, maybe not, as more and more stuff is streaming in. The Banji is providing some firepower, so I'm not all out yet. But it's looking quite grim. I have to say, it's really looking very grim here. And all I got is the Banji and haven't scouted. I never scouted the base, that's the problem, so well played there. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not GM, really not. Uh, really well played there with the Nidus one. That's the thing, if you're playing some people twice in the ladder, this might happen. So, the Nidus worm. Easy to scout, but let's watch replay. Let's watch the replay. I should, I really should put a supply depot next time there. Those are, this is, this is the nice thing I like about StarCraft. You have to consider so much stuff on those, in, in these games, because everything can happen. If I would have scouted it, no problem, pull SVs, GG, but no way, no way near that. Even so, I, just having four marines there would be enough, but mm, I don't know if that was his plan or not. But we will see. So I scouted him, didn't lose the Reaper, which was good. Good micro there, I like that. But yeah, just two gas so far, which is quite okay. Evolution Chamber. So Roach Worn and Lair, which is normal, it's, it's okay. But I never scouted, that was the problem, if there is a third base or not. I never did that, I assumed it's normal. I wanted to go down and I was like, oh no, let's do... Harris instead. That was dumb. Just have one Hellion for for five seconds go down there and one go down there. That's all I, it, I would have needed, but not gonna happen. The all that also the problem was not producing the Viking. You can see I could now I could get the Viking. Like let's see. Let's let's see that. 810. 810. Nidus not on the way. A Viking takes like 40 seconds, I guess. So 8.50 it could be out. Still not starting. Still not starting. Now I'm starting. And there's the Knight. Look at that. His timing is so off. He didn't lose any work there. That's good. But the Viking could have been out already. And I totally misrallied the Viking. The Viking would have been in position to deal with the Overlord. And there it is, just one supply depot. So normally possible to defend. You got the Viking and with a supply depot, easy piece of cake. But I didn't do that. So I will do this next time. Instead of having supply depots built here, I will just use one SUV builder there. Then I'm fine. And send the Viking to the possible uh, position where Nidus could come in to kill the Overlord. That's, that's that. But okay, I learned something. If I reconsider this in the next games, this will be good as well. It's not online anymore, sad guy, okay. Good, we learned something that was a good unranked. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, even though I didn't play as good as I did last game, but hey, it's all about learning. As always, I wish you a very nice day and...